Good evening everyone. I'm going to do something that I promised to my Chinese friends. It's called a coffee bean fly. Uh, it's a well-known fly in my country, Serbia, and it's used for chub mainly. But it's very good for trout because as we know, sometimes trout will eat terrestrials and that sometimes it's more than some rare occasion. It's pretty often actually. So. Uh, all we need is a hook thread, a real coffee bean, that's why we call this fly coffee bean fly. Uh, this coffee bean has a gap in the middle, and uh, this gap is used to uh, align with the body that we are going to make after this. So, the main feature of this fly is uh, plop, or the sound that it makes. Uh, Chubb is known to like sound. Uh, well, it likes bugs, and bugs when they fall in the water, they make a make make a sound. At least those terrestrials that are big, round, fat. So they when they fall, they fall with a sound. So this is something that uh, this fly can imitate really good. Uh, I'll just make a foundation for our body uh, for this gap that I showed you. So for this one here, uh, now uh, I will put some super glue. This one is in gel. Uh, it's very easy to, to handle this gel super glue because it, do it doesn't run away as a liquid one. It can s just float everywhere. And this one is very handy and nice. So I will sp spread it around. Uh, if any cracks, if you notice any cracks in the in the coffee bean, you can use liquid one to reinforce it. Just drop a, a, a tiny drop on it, and it will soak in. So your your bean will be reinforced. Now we need to fix this bean and allow it to go a little bit back. So we need some space here for the feather later and for the foam. So I'll press it firmly for a few seconds until this glue sticks on it and I'll check it from the front see if everything is nice everything is good so now I'll put some more glue on the back of the fly and spread it okay so go a little bit back front just spread it with your needle and the foam will do the rest like it doesn't have to be very very even or perfect so the next step is we are going to fold back fold, fold to the front this foam hold it with your fingers do one or two two is better turns with your thread okay now use your left hand or whatever is whatever hand is free and do two more tight turns then lift this foam up and do a few more turns. Now cut this as close as possible, uh, go over it with your thread and this is it. It's pretty tight. Now I will not use the regular I will not use the re regular feather for this. I will use partridge because it's nice and it will uh, move in water which I really like. It gives life to our fly. Okay. Now, pliers. Hackle pliers. Do a couple of turns. Later, as always, I like to reinforce my fly, so this one is not an exception. So now I'll just take a few reps to secure this feather. Okay, now. I'll go one or two in front, and that's it. Almost finished. Just snip off the, the excess. Spin the thread a little bit because this is the flat one. The, uh, if you use the wrong one, it's okay. Just spin it. Go back with your fibers, and now we have to whip, whip finish this. Maybe it's not the prettiest fly of all, but it's very good for trout and and and, and chub. So now I'll always do two whip finishes because I don't do any varnish on my thread. So this is it. 
finished fly. Use your scissors, snip off the thread and that's it. Uh, when you cast it, let it plop on the surface, make that sound, catch your fish and enjoy your fly fishing. Release some fish if you like, if you don't like, well, that's your choice. Enjoy fishing and thank you for watching.